So one of my favorite free orchestra libraries has just got a massive upgrade. So in today's video, I'll be running you through that. And later on in the video, there'll be a contest as well. If you want to enter that, make sure you stick around to see how to enter. But before we do get into any of that stuff, just a quick word from today's sponsors, DistroKid. So I have used DistroKid almost every single month this year to upload a single. What I love about DistroKid is their attention to detail. Like when you're collaborating with someone, they make sure it's a collaboration and not your band. This kind of attention to detail will make sure that DistroKid gets your music onto the right artist profiles on Spotify and Apple Music, etc. Even later on in the upload form, it asks again for you to provide your collaborator Spotify Apple Music and YouTube URL just to be 100% sure that the music is going to the right artist profile. But another feature that I love by DistroKid is the splits feature. It's another feature to help you and your collaborators split your profits automatically. So as you can see here, I am currently getting 100% of this track, which isn't correct. Me and Era are co-producers on this instrumental, so we're going to be getting 50% each. If you want to join DistroKid as well, feel free to use my 7% discount code it's in the description below now let's get into the video so the free orchestra by project sam has just had an update and it looks amazing the free orchestra tfo as they call it has just been updated to 2.0 TFO is a free library that is available using the free contact player, meaning you can download the free contact player first and then grab TFO after for free. I'll leave all of the links below. So if you remember before, the library actually came as a bunch of individual sounds, which was a bit fiddly. You had to kind of drag and drop and import every sound individually. Now there is only one file, which is awesome. And when you drag and drop it in, it has all of the awesome sounds under one file. You'll be presented with this welcome screen, click anywhere. And as you can see here, all of the awesome sounds are in one place. You can click on individual sounds and they'll show up here on the mixer at the bottom. You can play one sound at a time or you can click here and add a few different sounds that will play at the same time, which is pretty cool as well. Speaking of multis, you've got multis right here next to the instruments. As you can see, multiple sounds at once. If you want to hear what the sounds sound like before you load them in, just click this little speaker here. There's actually two new instruments in here, one called Wretch Risers and one called Organ Mystique. If you are unfamiliar with the instruments, I'll have a little flick through now. So this is the heroic horns. What you'll notice is there is a middle dial every time you select a instrument. This one has the Makato mix dial in the middle. And if I was to select a different one, this one has the dreamy dial in the middle. This Octava dial here would add another octave to your sound. So That's me just pressing one key. Short strings, the middle dial is a saturation. This is what it sounds like. Pandora Bursts, it's got an attitude dial in the middle. You've got your attack, release and reverb over here as well as limiter, filter and stereo.
just a bit of a side note, I am currently a little bit under the weather, so you might notice in my appearance or my voice, um, struggling a little bit, but still trying to put out some quality content for you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying the video and hopefully you click that like button and subscribe. We're so close to 70,000 subscribers, which means a 70K giveaway. True. So each individual library has a description over here which tells you which parent library it's from and exactly what it is. I really love this luminous choir. Just change the middle dial to change the vowel. Also, by the way, if you do add more sounds into your mixer down here, you can decide where on the keyboard you want them to play. You can have them separately or you can have them playing together. So all you have to do is click advanced and see how they have different places on the keyboard. And you can just drag and decide where you want it to play exactly. The retched risers are quite cool as well. I love how the middle dial allows you to pick how many beats you want it to go for. Um, alternatively, you can change this to downbeat. So when you're playing your track, it will just go to the next bar, I believe it is. Um, which is pretty cool as well. By activating the stutter, it gives it a stuttered run up instead, which could lead to like some kind of epic movie score. You would have heard that a million times in a million different scary movies. You can add it to kind of instrumental productions as well, which I'll show you a little later on. Ghostly Clusters. so cool as well you would have heard that in a million different horror movies as well so now i'm going to show you some loops that i have made using this free orchestra update after i show you the loops i'm going to make them available in the description below with stems and midi and hopefully you guys would get on board for the contest so this is loop one Oh, and by the way, try and remember which loops sound the best because after you listen to this, I do want you to put your favorite loop in the description below. Even if you're not entering the contest, just let me know which loop you're feeling most. So that was more of a chilled kind of loop. What I really love about that loop is I did some automated arpeggiation. Just open an arpeggiator and change the speed of the rate here. Made it sound a bit interesting. So this is the third loop and it's probably my favorite loop I would say out of the bunch.
So the cool thing about this one is I couldn't decide on a lead melody. I came up with three different types of lead melodies and in the end I just ended up leaving them all in there. Another cool thing about this is the textures. It kind of adds a lot more character to it. So in my last video, it says to you guys, if you comment below what your favorite free VST plugin is, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Well, this is that next video and here are the people that commented. If you do want to shout out in my next video, all you have to do right now is like this video and in the comment section below, just tell me what your favorite instrument is. It can be any instrument. Just let me know what it is in the comment section below. Bear in mind, it is the first 20 comments, but we'll get a shout out. Now let's get back into it. Loop number four. Um, I've added drums to this one. The drums won't be available in the description below. I want you to add your own drums. I've added a 808 bass as well, which is not a part of the free orchestra, but it just kind of completes the loop, you know, but the 808 will be available, but the drums won't be. If you do want to enter the competition all of these stems and midi will be in the description below you can do whatever you want with the final production as long as it's kind of recognizable where i can hear your production and say yeah he used this loop but um, apart from that 20 pounds cash prize and any pattern sounds sample pack you have roughly a week from now to enter your submissions to the email on screen if there simply isn't enough submissions and I just won't do the competition. It's nobody's fault, but if there's not enough, then there's no point. So all you have to do is be subscribed, like this video, download these stems, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well, as I'm going to be posting a lot of content on there, which might be useful for you. So if you do want this free orchestra, I'll link it in the description below. I'll link the free contact player in there as well, in case you don't have that. If you do want more plugin videos like this, I will leave one here and here, and I'll leave a random video from the channel over here. I've been Dixon, be safe, be productive, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.